Participating in Lakme's Gen Next means reaching a benchmark in a career, says Aniket Satnam. He speaks to Adgali about his design at Lakme Fashion Week 2012 and on the various aspects of the association with LFW and how he will be taking his career forward from here. Let's hear it from Aniket himself. Hi, I'm Aniket and uh, I have showcased in Gen Next this season and uh, my collection was called Aram. Uh, as the name suggests, it's uh, about a new beginning. People say in 2012 the world will come to an end. If it's coming to an end, so it's a beginning of something new. So that was the main uh, conceptual idea of it. Uh, for me, my models were dressed up like the draft of their own life. So that's why uh, as life is very complicated, there are lots of drapes and layering in my garments. The blue in the garment signifies uh, the destiny we have lived and the gold foil is the hope which it stands for. And white has a lot of abstract embroidery and textures which stands for uh, the life which we have uh, lived in a distressed and so far. But overall it's more festive collection for a younger audience and uh, who is fearlessly experimenting with different silhouettes, uh, color combination and in particular in this collection I have incorporated bling in form of golden foil rather than any uh, embroidery with zardozi or something and gota or something because I think the younger audience needs something which they are very used to and very easy to maintain sort of feel. So uh, I have used a lot of foiling which is in form of an abstract form not in a form of a motif because it becomes easier for them they can recognize with it uh, and it becomes more of a style statement than the same old bling which people generally carry in their regular outfits. The limited show area and the timing, Talent Box is an amazing opportunity which they have created in the source area and this is in some really good uh, designers like Ritika, Felix, Kane. Uh, I mean these are the names which we know have showcased in Talent Box and it has really helped them uh, to take the brand forward and I would say it's a good uh, platform. It's as e equal and efficient as the main show area. Uh, I mean Karina Kapoor on the first day had come for Anushka Khanna show. So that shows like uh, media wise, celebrity wise and uh, even buyer wise they are being pretty good uh, exposure in that terms. People are getting more and more aware and uh, social responsibility is a term which is associated with uh, many uh, corporates and designers are the modern corporates of today's time and it helps it to uh, create awareness in terms of issues and people uh, associate themselves uh, as a part of a society so it's a part played by the designer to give back that to the society back so it's a very good thought but at times people also uh, use and abuse many words just as a media gimmick which I think should not be done if you really are associated to a cause or you really uh, think for it then I think you should extend uh, your support for it definitely but it shouldn't be abused and misused by people uh, in terms of just to highlight and to take your product further use such terminologies and attract attention. Uh, Indian Textile Day is a great initiative by LFW. I think it's a much needed uh, day dedicated completely to textiles as such because we are from the land which is known for its silk. I mean the silk route begins from here. We have been known for the best of cottons and we have so much of diversity in terms of a textile all over uh, different states of India is concerned. So I think it's a great way to celebrate our um, rich heritage in terms of our handlooms and uh, it bring it in a new light because generally people think textile is too much of drab for old people, too much for the writer sorts but uh, incorporating in form of uh, fashion it's an amazing way to uh, create awareness and ultimately will affect the sales and also will help the cottage industry to grow. And my personal favorite will be uh, Pop Patola, which was for Deepika Govin. It's like the motives were very unusual, very different and she has really uh, incorporated um, right from the viewer level. You can't just use ready materials which are available like Iska Shawl, uh, you know, you cut this and you cut that and you create something. It's about going to the weavers and incorporating, uh, developing new motifs. So as uh, even Vaishali has done uh, what she does best uh, with Chinderi and Khan material uh, and uh, incorporate new different style of uh, silhouettes. 
so in that terms it's been a really amazing uh, day to watch uh, young designers especially to uh, create innovation uh, with indian textile co-branding is an amazing uh, phenomena which have been seen from so many uh, like my fashion week editions now what happens in co-branding is like any brand which is so established would obviously like to get associated with some an established name because it will take both the uh, you know brand forward uh, by doing it with a new designer there's always a risk uh, risk element uh, which a person plays with and uh, i think it's fair enough on that terms uh, to have an established designer it attract attracts attention and they're already uh, been in the industry so it becomes easier to break, break through and uh, but at the same time if you go to see uh, lakme has given uh, young designers like pankajan nidhi and kalol doing the finale within itself it's a great uh, privilege and honor to do the closing of such a mega grand event so i wouldn't say uh, associating branding and uh, giving something uh, bigger as doing a finale to a new designer so uh, it's it's it all depends upon the association with the brand and how uh, comfortable the brand is with the designer to get associated like my fashion week is predominantly uh, Uh, glamour centric event but uh, it was proven wrong to me because there've been amazing buyer response this season itself it's my first edition and the support uh, the buyers have given to young designers is phenomenal all the big names and uh, the multi designer stores which we know have come forward and have given uh, has shown interest and interacted with designers uh do uh, since it's a new designer uh, coming in the business the orders are mostly on consignment basis which is fair enough to them also because they're also gambling with a new uh, name and a new design aesthetics people from smaller towns like nagpur uh, hyderabad pune uh buyers from there have shown uh, phenomenal interest in the design as it is they were shown on the runway uh so uh, which was pretty much uh, different to learn from internationally speaking uh, i think because of doing fall winter when closer to fall winter uh it's more domestic centric even rather than an international because internationally it works always uh, a season ahead so i don't think this time there was too many international buyers as such but uh, domestically it was phenomenal uh, right now i'm focusing on uh, as i said the business was very good so delivering on time and on with quality and finish is going to be my first priority apart from there my garments are going to be get sold by one of the some of the biggest publications in india so you're going to see more of aniket in lots of magazines and uh, i'm open to lot of styling assignments so that those are under wraps and uh, i have done hong kong fashion week prior so i might do again this season uh, to expand uh, the international growth for every young designer what is more important is being true to yourself uh, not aping someone else uh, ape to be your own self so originality is the key second glamour is not only about fashion week it's all about business so one should have a business mind and one should design the collection uh and should have a run down version so the buyers are happy the stylist are happy because ultimately if the joy of seeing anyone wearing your own outfit on run uh, on the road is more exciting than seeing the model starting on the runway